Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a review of the All Even Instant Perfect Out Foundation, which is 115 pounds. I have purchased this myself and I bought two of them. I'm not made of money, but I just wanted to do a really good review and I'm intrigued to see how good the foundation is because I have no idea why a foundation is that expensive. So this is the foundation. This is All Even. If you've never heard of them, look them up. They are an incredible brand. I first discovered them when I saw a TV program about Beyonce's body makeup and this body spray was incredible and I thought that's going to be brilliant for photo shoots and they do pro discount. For me, it's an investment because I'm going to use it in my professional kit but for the average consumer who's not a makeup artist I wanted to test to see is this worth it so this is the color shield which goes on the face and body I use it kind of like decolletage arms and upwards you can use it on the legs this is how it comes it comes in a really nice little box and it's an airbrush foundation in the respect that it's an aerosol can and as long as you hold it from a distance you get a really beautiful even finish so that in itself is relatively high in but for the foundation it's only 20 mils it's 115 pound so the foundation arrived yesterday and it came in a jiffy bag and just some paper I'm not knocking the brand at all. I think the brand's lovely. But when you spend £115 or £230 on two foundations, I think the whole experience and how it arrives and what it looks like and how it's packaged is kind of a selling point. I don't spend out a lot on makeup. I do treat myself to the mascara that I love, which is £60. It is disgusting. It's a really heavy mascara. It comes in a beautiful box and it's a kind of experience. Everything about it is beautiful so you can kind of justify the price because you're not picking it up off the side in the drugstore with a little bit of cellophane around it I don't know a little bit disappointed that there wasn't a little bit more to it because it really is very very basic so let's hope the formula itself is worth it so this is the bottle that it comes in glass does make it feel a little bit more expensive however it does mean you're not going to get all of that product out and it comes with a little mirrored lid and it has the shade name and the expiry date on the bottom and as you can see this is an all-in-one foundation and concealer so on the inside we have a doe foot applicator which is a really big one which means you can use it straight from the bottle however at that price I probably wouldn't want to contaminate it I'll obviously be using it in my kit so I'm not going to use it from the actual applicator and as I said I did buy two shades I bought pearl and ivory because I wasn't sure which shade I was going to be and also it means I can carry it through to the summer months when I have a tan this is for face and body so technically you are cutting out the addition of one product because you shouldn't need to apply any additional products for extra coverage so I've cleansed my face today I've put a little bit of vitamin C on then my moisturizer and then I've gone in with some SPF one side of my face I'm going to apply a primer and a setting spray and powder and then this side I'm just going to leave with just the foundation and a tiny amount of setting powder where I need it if I need it at the moment I'm enjoying the Clinique super primer which is a universal face primer and it's more like a cream it doesn't have that kind of silica feel which I really do not like on the skin it does a brilliant job I'm just not really into that myself at the moment so I'm gonna put that on this side of the face just hope I remember um, I'm gonna put that anywhere I get oily or I have pores which is always around the nose and then this section of my cheek a little bit on my chin I always find my foundation just even my bare minerals lasts a little bit better and doesn't break up around my nose as quick when I use this I'll put that on the forehead as well and this primer is good whether you're oily or you're dry it's an all-round perfect primer I'm going to use a brush today I'm going to use the heavenly skin CC perfecting skin brush by it cosmetics it's a really beautiful soft bristle brush the shade I'm going to use to begin with is pearl I might apply ivory around the outer edge depending on how it comes out on my skin it is quite fluid a little bit more fluid than I was anticipating considering it is a foundation and concealer so I'm going to assume it's quite buildable so I'm going in on the side that has the primer first. Now remember, if you want a really sheer coverage, go in with your fingers, because you can really blend it into the skin. You're also not losing any of that product into the bristles. And at that price, <laughs> you really don't want to. So I'm gonna read out what the description of this foundation is. It's a unique water in oil emulsion created to spread easily on the skin and to have a light, soft feel with a touch of elegance. So it does have a little fragrance to it, but it isn't intense. It goes on really, really sheer, like actual skin. 
and it is given a nice amount of coverage considering I'm using a brush and buffing it in. And that's one layer on this side of my face. It is completely undetectable. So, so sheer. And you can see between both sides of my face, it has given me coverage. The texture of it is really, really lightweight. It's very, very thin, um, but it does give you coverage. This time I'm gonna do it with my hand. Yeah, it's really, really lightweight. It blends so, so easily. So there's only seven shades in this foundation available but it is kind of unique and if you go onto their website you can see the different shades of the models so you can get an idea of what you will fit into. And in case I haven't mentioned it's a matte velvet finish. It has universal tones for all skin types. You can see we've got a super deep toned model and if we go right to the top we've got someone who's really fair as well. So I really like this because if you are looking for a sheer foundation that is undetectable on the skin but does reduce redness and does kind of cover blemishes, this is a really good foundation. Do I think it's worth 115 pound? No, there are other ones that are affordable that give this same finish. However, the staying power might be what gives it a leg up compared to other foundations. So I guess we will see. So I'm going in with a second layer so the finish with the hand is pretty similar to how the brush finishes it. So I'm just going to put it all on with the brush. I probably wouldn't use a sponge. It does say you can, but it would be something I would finish with rather than use to begin with because it will just absorb all of that product. So I can feel that it does set in place. Once you've kind of buffed it in, I can feel with the brush that it gets a little bit uh, thicker to rub over the top of so it's definitely setting in place which is nice because you know that you've got a little bit of working time and then it's going to set and probably not move so I can see it sitting on top of the skin with the second layer of using a brush so I'm going to go in and press that in with my fingers which always gives it a bit more of a seamless finish you kind of it, those little bits where it sits where you might have a tiny bit of drier skin or skin texture. I find when you press it in with your finger, it just gives it so much more of a natural finish. That's already looking so much better because I'm doing this. Some foundations work really well. If they're cheapier foundations, they tend to come back off on your finger. Um, but this one isn't doing that, so it's lovely. So do I feel like I need concealer? No. I feel like it's given me enough of a coverage with two layers that I kind of don't feel like I need to go in and just conceal these kind of little natural dips that we all have. If you want a brighter finish, then by all means go in with a concealer, but I do feel like it gives you the coverage. So I like that because it is natural full coverage. It does give you a natural finish. It's not mask-like, it's not heavy. That's two layers and it feels like I'm only wearing one. So this is the foundation up close. You know what it kind of reminds me of is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and concealer all in one. It's very, very thin. It sits on skin really lovely. It looks like skin. It is pretty undetectable. Obviously, up close, you're always gonna see makeup sitting on the skin, but this is as close as you're gonna get in terms of it not looking like you're wearing a load of makeup. You can see it has masked my little bit of melasma that I've got up here. Yeah, overall, it's not set, so it's still fresh on the skin. It's not super dewy. It gives a really nice natural finish. It does say matte velvet, but I do feel like it's more natural in its finish than matte. I really do like the finish. I do love it. I just feel like it's a bit overpriced in general. I don't think anyone should have to pay that kind of price for foundation. So I've just popped some mascara on, a little bit of bronzer and blush, and I put a tiny amount of the Becca Under Eye Secret Brightening Powder underneath my eyes, just to prevent a little bit of the creasing that was happening. On a dry sponge, I'm also gonna take that same powder and just pop it on my forehead where I get a little bit shiny. And that will set that in place. And also just down the center of the face. Yesterday I got the new Porefessional Super Setter Spray in the post. So this one is a waterproof, smudge-proof and fade-proof setting spray. It does contain a mattifying powder. You have to shake it really, really well. It's gonna mattify your skin and blow your pores and last for up to 16 hours. So I'm gonna do that on one side of my face. So the idea is the mister gives more like a cloud misting finish, so it's not heavy. So I'm gonna use this just to blank out that side of the face. Just 
so that's this side of the face set mm, that smells lovely it's really really like a fine fine mist it smells beautiful so if you've not seen that, I'm gonna link it below for you. The fact that this is a full coverage, all-in-one foundation and concealer, and it is two layers with a brush, um, I think you'll agree it still looks really, really natural. And if you are looking for super full coverage, then you would really need to lay this up a few more times for that kind of like porcelain finish to the skin. As I've gone on and done the rest of my makeup, it's definitely gone to that matte velvet finish. It definitely has more of a mattifying finish than dewy. So we're gonna see how this wears throughout the day. It is currently 11 o'clock in the morning and we will come back and see throughout the day how it looks. So I've had this on for around four hours now and I haven't looked in the mirror yet. So it actually looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's changed too much. Um, tiny bit of shine you can see this side where I don't have the primer my nose is a tiny bit more shiny than this side but it really is marginal so she stayed really really well it's the tiniest amount like real minuscule amount of creasing in the lid area and I did set that with a bit of powder I don't normally get that with bare minerals but that is so lightweight I mean yeah it's worn really really well and the makeup that's sitting on top of it is also lasting really well and that is obviously because the base itself isn't moving and I'm making a conscious seven not to touch my face today so yeah actually four hours in we're looking pretty good so I'm back again I have had this on for eight hours now this is the kind of length of time I would wear a foundation for we are in the middle of a lockdown so I definitely wouldn't be wearing it for longer than this because I've got nowhere else to go if it was a working day you might have it on for eight hours plus um, this is the finish that I've got after eight hours. I am definitely a lot more shiny than I was a couple of hours ago. I can see on this side of my nose it is wearing away. It does say online that it is ideal for sports activities and humidity. So if you're going somewhere warm or it's the summertime, this is ideal for that. It is in place because I've not got a lot of makeup on. I don't wear a lot of makeup. So considering I only have a light layer on, it has stayed in place. It does say it's rub proof and waterproof. So I mean, I am getting married in a place with humidity. However, eight hours wear, I don't think would cut it. For me because I'm literally only in the house today so I'm not really in humidity apart from cooking over a saucepan for 10 minutes I wouldn't say it's super long wearing if you're oily but I topped it up at six hours you know seen to it then I think it would last a lot longer and I would powder but I wanted to just completely leave it so this is how it looks completely left and it's not awful it really isn't awful it's not the best but it isn't awful I know it's a HD foundation the idea is that it is undetectable and it is weightless and I do get that from the foundation it is beautiful and it is a treatment which I can't work out what the actual treatment element is from the website whether it's just that it's got a water and oil emulsion I don't know if that's what's classed as the treatment element to it but the 115 pound price tag is beyond me I don't understand it. I thought by using it I would be blown away and I would go, well, I can see why the price tag is the price tag, but I don't, I don't get it. It's a lovely foundation, lightweight HD foundation that's definitely buildable to full coverage. It lasts well, but it isn't amazing. If this was a lower price tag, I would be highly recommending it based on the fact that you can go in and top it up and it's not going to look cakey and it's not going to um it's not going to be troublesome to top up it's going to be easy to kind of remattify your skin but if you want that element then just go for the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and concealer because it is so similar in my opinion you can get the same sort of product but in a more affordable option and it comes in more colors let me know what you think in the comment section below if you've got any questions that you want to ask me if there's anything that I've not actually covered. Would you pay £115 for this foundation? I am a little bit disappointed. I am. It's so, so much money to part with. Yes, it's lovely. I would be so much more impressed if it was an affordable foundation. When I say affordable, it can be high end. This is beyond high end, isn't it? You know, a £42 foundation is high end. This is 
ridiculous. Anywho, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm gonna list and link all the products I've used down below for you. Don't forget to come follow me outside of YouTube over on my social handles, which will be on screen for you now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.